Okay guys, so today I'm going to be doing something slightly different. Today is not a vent session, oddly enough. Today I'm going to be doing a, a slight tutorial, if you will. Um, so, uh, for those of you who don't know me personally, I am something of an artist. And today I'm going to be showing you how to draw a basic face. Now what I'm going to be showing you guys is what I was taught. So uh, different people have different ways of starting off the basic face. But um, for me, I'll be using what I was taught, what I know, and what I've picked up along the way. So what you're going to want to do is you want to start off with a circle. Now I'm using a pen. So... <laughs> It might be a bit rough and dark, but also you guys can see. All right. So you want to start off with a circle here. Now, however you draw the circle is up to you. You can use a cup or you can use um, a protractor, um, whatever. You can use whatever you need to make the circles. The circle doesn't necessarily have to be perfect, though. Um, as long as it resembles a circle, you're, fi you're fine. Um, and yeah, you just start off with a circle. And uh, when I move over to body development, uh, a circle is another thing you need to start off with. But for today, for today's tutorial, it's the face circle. That's all you need to know. Well, it's not the only thing you need to know. You need to know a lot more. But for the beginning part, circle. So then what you want to do is you want to take the circle you want to kind of draw a dividing line and I'm trying to draw it lightly because again I'm using a pen here and you want to draw the dividing line kind of towards the middle kind of div dividing the circle in half you want to go past the circle quite a bit and I do this to develop the facial feature of the face so then we're going to come over here to the side. Since I'm left-handed, I start on the right side of the face first and then the left side. Um, it doesn't matter which side you start on first because you're going to do both sides anyway. But I tend to start on the right side first. So what I do is I bring the line down here. And what I do is I kind of curve it to re it resemble the face. And like that, we have ourselves a face. Now, normally, in constructing my faces, I would then, because I would, I would start off with a pencil, and I would then erase this line here, and construct the cheekbones and the jawline, but because I'm using pen, I'm going to keep it this structure, I'm not going to do really anything else. Um, when I find my pencils... I might do, um, probably in the same video, um, I might just cut to it, um, I'm going to show you how I develop the cheekbones and stuff like that, but as of right now, this is what I have for you guys. So now, I usually start after constructing the jaw lines and stuff like that, is I start developing the eye area. And I just kind of draw the brow lines a bit, kind of uh, establish them until they're, you know, noticeably brow lines, you know. And then what I do is I'll take those brow lines and I'll kind of gesture at the nose, you know. And uh, recently, I've been getting into uh, the angry look. I don't know. It's it's kind of a thing. But uh, the angry look is very particular. You know, he has the scrunched up nose and all that. Anyway. I am then drawing the bridge of the nose here. As... To structuralize the face to better understand where I'm putting it. This will be the nostril. Kind of 
wide nostril there. So normally, um, if I make a nostril too wide or something like that, again, I'll be using pencil. I can just easily erase, but since I'm using pen, I'm kind of going with the flow as of right now. Drawing a bit of a indention here on the eye area. And then I'm going to draw a bit of a cheek definition there. Now, from here, once you get to here, you kind of pretty much have room to play because everyone's style is different everyone has a different way like even when drawing the nose people have a different way of doing things it's all about experimentation but um for me this is how my style works this is how i draw and when i construct the face this is pretty much how i do it i always construct the head first bring in the jawline and stuff like that once i have the cheekbones perfectly ready and i have the outline of the head going I then move in on the face and I always start with the brows so I know where the eyes are going because once I know where the eyes are going I can then put in the nose once the nose is placed I can then put in the mouth and once that mouth is put in the picture kind of reveals itself already you know it kind of shows itself to you and in an odd way you can kind of already see the outcome of the picture before the face is finished and I can probably t you guys can probably already tell based off of this you can already see the face um it's pretty much a generic face at this point it's not really anybody in particular now normally if you can see the line here that's covering the face and the line coming down here. Normally, I would have those erased already by now. But because, again, it's pen, I can't really erase it. I did try to draw it as lightly as possible, but it is very visible still. Um, now, um, if you don't erase these, normally if you're doing it in a wholesome pen, you would use a different colored pen. You would use a lighter pen to draw your construction lines. And then a darker colored pen to put down the final product. But this is again a tutorial, so I'm just showing you guys how I do it. You don't have to copy my style necessarily, but feel free to if you want. Now here I'm just constructing the eyes into the face. Just placing them. Now eyes are fairly easy for me nowadays. I've recently gotten over this pet peeve of mine where I tend to draw the eyes abnormally big for the face. But I have since gotten over that and gotten better at drawing the eyes as well. Uh, not particularly in this tutorial though. I'm kind of drawing them a little shit right now. But you know, it's fine. It's nothing water under the bridge and all that <laughs> say that a lot nowadays water under the bridge i don't know why wow that eye is so bad holy crap <laughs> that is like the worst eye i've ever drawn holy man and i just i was just saying how i was getting better at the eyes too what a hypocrite in the same video too damn so there we go the face is constructed, but we are not done because we still have two more things to do. I need to draw in the ears and the hair. Now, however you do this is up to you. I usually tend to draw in the ears first and then put in the hair and then erase part of the ear that the hair is covering. If it's long hair, keep the ears in. If the hair is short on the sides or just short in general. But in this particular case, because I am using a pen, I'm going to just put in the hair and kind of visualize where the ears will kind of fall, you know, if they're visible on one side or the other or not. Now, I do a lot of different hair techniques, um, but most recently I have been getting lazy with the hair. I don't know why. So, um, I'm just going to lightly kind of suggest the bangs, you know, kind of 
suggest the things. Now this is a new technique that I've been playing with for a while, but I've never actually used it properly. Now this is just where I don't solidly, I'm gonna do it over here, over here in the corner, where normally I would solemn, subtly draw the hair out, but in this technique, because of the way I drew the, the hair, I just kind of draw the lines that just the hair ends, so it's not really a connected, a connected, um, what am I looking for? What's the word I'm looking for? It's not really like a pointed hair piece, you know, it's kind of almost like realistic art, but technically it's not. Um, yeah, it, you'll learn quick if you continue watching me draw that it's, it resembles a lot of realistic art, but it really, it's not realistic in the slightest. It is the farthest thing from realistic. Now, I tend to play around with the hair until I'm satisfied with the way it looks, but, um... Again, this is pen, and I'm making a bunch of mistakes. I actually went a bit too far on one side. Oh, no, no, no. I don't think I'm good, actually. Now, I don't know everything about art. I'm still learning, still playing with the, uh, the techniques. I'm still trying to figure out my own style, trying to figure out what I should be doing with my own style. And as of right now, free-handed, I can draw faces and torsos. <laughs> That's about the extent of my art ability, to be completely frank with you guys. I can draw faces, like portrait style like this, or mugshot, depending on how you like it, or torsos. Now, I can draw hands, and I can draw legs and feet, if the situation do need it. But, I also get real lazy sometimes with the, uh, the design, and kind of, kind of just say fuck it, you know? I have been using a lot of references for my uh, better art pieces, I should say. A lot of references, a lot of templates, though I don't really know I should be saying that on mine. But, you know, I use a lot of templates. And basically, if you don't know what a template is, it's where I take a um, an already established uh, figure and I pretty much trace its outline. And what I do is I take it to use it as a pose, you know, for my characters. I use it for the pose, and I add in all of the facial detail, all the, all the hair, all the clothing. I adapt the hands if I need to change it. I, I adapt the arm. I add more muscle if more muscle is needed. I put less muscle if less muscle is needed. I um, adjust the bust size. I adjust the length of the arms if they need adjusting. It, it, that's all the template is. It's basically like a cheat, you know. It gets it gets my foot in the door, and then I just walk myself the rest of the way in. <laughs> um, if that makes any sense to any of you guys out there, and I've been I've been using this technique for a while. I want to say I've been using it for about five to six years, and it it works for me relatively well. Um, for a couple of things, I've, I haven't really needed to use templates, uh, and I am practicing uh, drawing the poses freehand, so I never have to use templates again, but uh, I do still use templates as of today. I you know that's probably shameful, it's cheating technically, but um, it, it's how I, I get my, my OCs, you know, my OC character designs down and if you don't know what an OC is it's an original character and if you're watching my videos and don't know what an OC is I'm pretty disappointed now from here again you could have done your hair in a completely different way you could have drawn it in a completely different way but as of right now this is 
sort of the final product. I could add more to it. I could do more to it, but as of right now, that's the final product. Like I can go over here under the chin and add a bit of bit of facial hair, and even that bit of facial hair changes the entire the entire drawing. I can go under here, underneath the chin, add just just a tad bit of uh, suggestion of a goatee, right? And again, that'll change the entire picture, meaning it's not the same, what's well, technically the same guy, but it's not the same picture, essentially, because you added a bit of the facial hair, so now he has a bit of definition, and it kind of looks a bit more serious. Um, you can even come up here to the upper lip, you can add the mustache, you know, if it so suits you. You can add a mustache, and again, it adds definition, kind of a burliness, I should say, to the, to the, uh, to the picture. Mm, there we go. Yeah, you see. Bring the facial hair just a bit up the face, just a tad. And look at that. And if I bring the facial hair just off of of the uh, the face here, you then have a completely different jaw feature, because now you're getting a beard. You're getting the definition of a beard. It's extruding from the original facial structure so now you're getting like that beard look there we go I should probably connect the beard to the mustache yeah I feel like that will look a bit better than a disconnected mustache from a beard and I'm gonna build this up slightly up his cheek on either side and yeah, there we go. That's looking a bit good. And just like that, he went from clean shaven to bearded. And you can play around with your drawing. You can do whatever you wish. Um, if you drew it in pencil, you can erase the beard, remake him clean shaven, change what kind of hairstyle you want. If you don't like the hairstyle that uh, you started off with, you can play around with hairstyles, see, see what looks good on the character. You can change the way his nose looks. And it, a lot of things. You, it's all about playing around with the face to see what you like. Um, but that's pretty much how I draw the face. And I did it all in pen, obviously. Um, minimal mistakes, because I've been doing this for years. <laughs> um, I say minimal. I, I didn't say I didn't make a mistake. I did make a mistake, particularly on this eye here. I feel like this eye could have been better. In fact, I think... I think the eye is actually too far apart from the nostril here. You might not be able to see it on the camera. Hold on. If I bring it up closer, can you see it? The distance is a little off. <laughs> I don't know. I'm a little OCD about that a little bit. Um, but, uh, yeah. If you like this video, and this is an official video other than the gaming videos, if you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you are new. Huh, what am I saying? You guys are all new. This is a new channel. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, but again, uh, again with the vent sessions, uh, I don't care if those don't get any views. Those are just me talking. But uh, this one, these, if you want to see more of this, I will definitely post another one about drawing torsos. But if you want to see more of this, of me drawing, uh, let me know in the comment section below, and uh, I'll definitely do more of this. I'll probably have to figure out a way to upgrade this setup because right now I have it on top of a paper towel rack. My phone is on top of a paper towel rack, facing down on <laughs> um, a notebook. Um, and again, uh, I, I'm drawing this in a notebook, in a, in a composition book, because uh, my art book is full. 
and I don't get paid till Tuesday. So uh, once I get paid, I will purchase another art book and I will be working in that with the torso tutorial. Um, and uh, yeah, I guess that's it actually. But yeah, be sure to subscribe, like the video if you did, like it, um, and that's pretty much it. So uh, bye for now, but not forever. And I guess I'll see you guys next time.